Good afternoon, everyone. I hope uh, you guys are enjoying Fibonacci heap data structure lectures. In this lecture, we're going to be discussing about how to decrease a key of a node um, within the Fibonacci heap data structure. As you can see here in this example, this is our favorite uh, small example of a Fibonacci heap. So the idea here for this algorithm is that let's say uh, we want to decrease the key of uh, node number 15 okay, to a lower value. Okay. So how are we going to do that? So let's discuss this algorithm. First of all, we want to check whether this key or the value which you are uh, giving the new key value, whether it is lower than the key value of the node. If it is not lower, you just simply exit out because it's, it's not low, you want to decrease it. And if not, then you know you go ahead and execute line number three and four. So idea is that whatever is the new key value, you assign that uh, new key value to the uh, node's key value, okay? Now, as soon as you assign that value, that may violate the min heap structure. If it violates the min heap structure, then we need some way to restore the min heap structure. If it doesn't violate the min heap structure, then we just simply have to check whether the new value, what we have assigned to this node, let's say node number 15 here in our example, new value, whether it is less than the uh, our um, h dot min, which is the minimum value or the value of the root node uh, of this uh, Fibonacci heap structure. As you can see, we have the root list and we have multiple roots here, but h dot min is the uh, is pointing that pointer is pointing to the node which has the minimum key value. Okay, so as simple as that, we check that condition at line number. Five, that if the new value which we have assigned the new key whether it is less than its parent node's key or not if the if the value is less than then we need to arrange uh, in some way uh, you know this structure find some way so that we maintain the min heap property so for that, we have uh, another subroutine called Fibonacci cut H, X, Y. So H means heap, X means particular node for which you want to change the key and Y is the parent node of, of this node. Okay. And what it does basically, what it is doing, it is removing this node 15 or node X from its parent node okay, and decrementing the key of the parent and putting this node in the root list, okay? And then setting other attributes. Uh, X dot mark is setting false if uh, whether it is marked or not, okay? Now, this mark, uh, why we have mark, you might be wondering in previous lectures too. So that mark uh, property, it, it basically stores some kind of a history, okay? which is beneficial for us, okay? So remember that uh, in uh, procedure FIBO um, link heap, which we discussed in previous lecture, uh, we cleared this mark node, okay? So that mark node contains the history, some sort of history. And that history is basically, uh, the mark attribute of a node is true if these two steps have been occurred that at some point x was a root and then when x was a root and then after that it was made a child of another uh, node okay and also that child x has been cut that's a bit tricky to understand but uh, remember these properties so when you want to analyze this algorithm or you're going to do a step-by-step, -step, uh, you know, analysis or say following the algorithm. Then uh, you re if you remember this property or 
even you don't have to remember you just make a note of it then you will understand why the mark node is important but remember that's uh, is, is storing a certain kind of history okay which is uh, useful and uh, you know in our algorithms as we discussed earlier as well now after we cut remove this this child okay 15 from its parent we are not done yet we, we might have say for example here I have only one child of 10 but what if um, the 15 is the second child okay maybe there is one more node down there okay so we need a proper way to cut this uh, this subtree and we execute the uh, cascading cut from the parent node and the cascading cut algorithm is also simple enough that uh, what you do uh, you just find the parent of of the node which you are uh, on which you are executing the cascading cut operation and then check if it is marked okay then what it means that uh, the node is marked what it means that you you will have to execute uh, Fibonacci cut and cascading cut again till you don't find a mark no node okay? so if mark is false in this case say for example it is false then you just make this uh, nodes mark attribute to true and you are done so see how this mark attribute is storing some kind of a history which is useful in maintaining the min heap property of this Fibonacci heap structure right and after that uh, you just check if if you do not find if, if the key which you are reducing say 15 you are reducing it to say 12 okay and 12 is, is still bigger than 10 then you don't have to do you know you don't have to 12 is bigger than its parent node key so you don't have to execute this cut procedure you just simply jump to line number 8 and at that line number 8 you wanna check whether the new key which you have uh, assigned or you have decreased the key value whether it is less than the root key value or not okay or h dot mid dot key that uh, I call it a root node of this Fibonacci heap structure however there are multiple uh, root nodes in the root list okay so don't be confused with that right so you find the uh, new h dot min uh, node which is pointing which has the lowest key okay simple enough let's talk about how we can uh, say implement it so if, if you see here in the previous example as I was saying we want to remove this uh, node number 15 okay to some value okay let's say 5 now if you want to remove to 5 then what we're gonna do is 5 is less than its parent so we want to chop off this node and put in the root list okay so we execute the Fibonacci cut P H X Y procedure okay now after that we, we would execute the cascading cut procedure and we would mark we would take appropriate decisions so let's say here we wanted to remove 15 to 5 so we chop off and put it in the root list now notice that 15 was marked so we cleared the marked as it was in the FIBO cut algorithm or subroutine or you know sub algorithm and then we executed FIBO cascading cut and in the cascading cut this 10 was unmarked okay so we marked it and we exit out from uh, uh, from line number seven now we want to check okay if x dot key is less than h dot min dot key so 5 is less than 3 no it's not true so we just leave 
you don't change the original key, the edge dot mean, or original uh, pointer to the edge, uh, uh, pointer to the minimum root, uh, minimum key root node. So edge dot mean always points to the minimum key node, right? Now let's talk about a, another simple algorithm here, how to delete. to delete. So once you have uh, decrease key uh, algorithm you know, in place, so what you do if you want to you know delete some node from this heap, you reduce that uh, node's key to whatever minimum possible key value you can. Okay, And then you just extract that many key and extract mean procedure or algorithm we have seen in the previous lecture. Now this is quite simple delete operation or delete algorithm. Cast he decrease first you decrease to the lowest possible key in your structure and then extract that node out. Right? So guys, thank you for uh, listening me and uh, watching this video. Um, I hope you are enjoying these lectures. I appreciate your feedback. Thank you very much for subscribing uh, Lee Professor channel on YouTube. Those who haven't subscribed, uh, please do uh, subscribe Lee Professor channel on YouTube. That uh, helps us to give you a notification as soon as videos are available.